Hi guys, welcome to my channel where we talk about everything from tech to films and all the fun stuff in between. So guys, I have a super cool product for you today. And this is from a company who have just started a Kickstarter campaign about this totally unique and one of a kind product. And we all heard about Kickstarter. And if you browse on it for a few seconds, there is 100% chance of coming across something totally cool and unique. So when this company, DocCase, contacted me about testing their new product, which is going to be on a Kickstarter campaign, I was super interested and curious. So what I have here is DocCase's 7-in-1 USB-C Smart HD Display Dock. So it is a dock with a display screen. It's novel and cool, right? But let's see if this implementation makes sense as standard docks are just like this. You connect cables to it and it works. But what does adding a display does to such kind of a dock? Let's find out, shall we? Just before proceeding, guys, please do subscribe to my channel and show your support so I'll continue making fun and informative content for you guys. We have crossed another milestone, guys. 3000 subscribers and I seriously thank all you guys for respecting my channel, respecting my content and subscribing to show your support. Let's continue with the video. So they have sent me the dock and another box which looks like a USB-C cable. If you look at the back, it gives us various technical details regarding the model, length, material, operating temperature, etc. And it also says that it is a semi-manufactured product. Interesting. Then the dock itself, if you see at the back, again, it's got the technical information and it says it's a beta version. And this text reads as, we sincerely invite you to review this product. Constructive feedback will be delivered to our product team and reflected to the next upgraded version. So it's really cool to be one amongst the very first few to test this totally interesting and unique product. Let's unbox this. I've got the unboxing knife here, guys. And then let's pull that out. Instruction manuals. And then the dock. Let's get this off. If you look around, the front is fully covered with glass and the bottom has got four rubberized feet, so it stays in place. And yeah, the dock has got a bit of heft to it. So it should stay in place when you got several things plugged into it. And coming to the ports, we have a micro SD and a standard SD port along with a USB type A port on this side. And then on the other side, we have two more USB type A ports, a HDMI port which supports 4K monitors up to 60 FPS, and then a USB C PD port which should allow pass through charging up to 100 watts. And then on the top, there is another USB Type-C port along with what appears to be vents for airflow. Let's look at what else is in the box. We have this flat USB-C to USB Type-C cable. Wow, it's really cool actually. It's totally flat and it's got 10 Gbps marked on one side and then the other side 100 WPD. These are some serious numbers and should offer you max transfer speeds or power delivery capabilities. Now let's open that semi-manufactured product box, yeah? Again, here we go. Wow, so this is to showcase how they achieved that flat cable. It's really a cool keepsake. 
I don't know much about cable structure and its significance, but this is super cool to look at the internals on how they achieved that flat USB type C cable. Now onto the dock, let's just connect it. And if you can see, they've actually digitally engraved the channel name on the dock. This is super cool. Thanks a lot dock case for doing this. It's really a nice gesture. Let's look at it again. So as soon as you connect, you see a welcome screen. It stays for about two to three seconds. And then, yeah, it's super cool. So let's plug in a few things and see how this display works. I will get my M1 MacBook Air, which has just got two Thunderbolt or USB Type-C ports. So a dock like this will be certainly helpful. And just before we do this, for the sake of recording, I need to turn the orientation of the display so it can read better. The manufacturer advised that there is a pinhole below one of the USB type A ports, which is here. Now let me use this pin and yes, the display orientation changes. So cool. I'll put it like this so it can record better on my camera. So first off, straight away when you plug in, it shows the power which the dock is using, which is 5 volts. Let's try SD card. And yes, it recognizes and shows that the SD card is plugged in. And the content also shows up on my Mac as well. I'll try to copy this 230 MB video file and let's see. So that's all right, actually, it just took a few seconds to transfer. Next, let's try the power delivery port for pass through charging. I here have the 30 watt fast charger, which the MacBook Air came with. I'll plug this into the PD port. And there you go. It's allowing the MacBook to charge, but it's maxing out at 15 volts, not the whole 30 volts. Guess this is to keep the whole unit relatively cool and still support all the other ports. See, the problem of loading a dock to its max and using it that way does get it heated up. And the more heated it gets, the slower everything starts to work. Let's try a USB-A pen drive as well. And it recognizes it right away and says that it's a 2.0 type device plugged in and supports 480 Mbps transfer speed. I also have a USB 3.0 hard drive and let's plug that in. So it recognizes that as well. And wow, look at the transfer speed difference between both 480 Mbps on USB 2.0 and 5 Gbps on the 3.0 port. I mean, you were never able to tell these kind of numbers. Probably you could if you had the box, but how many of us keep the box intact? So this info is super cool and it does allow you to better manage the devices which you connect and the transfer speeds which you get from them. And yes, sorry, I forgot to point out another thing here, which is the operating temperature of the dock. It currently shows us 45 degrees, but yeah, not sure what the safe or max is before you start unplugging stuff. I will leave that in the description below if I find that out. But yeah, currently the dock does feel warm to touch. Let's do one last connection, which is HDMI cable. And wow, this is super cool, guys. It shows the display size, manufacturer information. Wow. And there you go. It says it's an AOC display, which is right, along with the size, which it says 22 inches which is also correct. Excellent stuff. The temperature of the stand, I can certainly feel it's warm, but it's comfortable warm. Should we try to plug this into the iPad Pro and see how it performs? Because the iPad has also got a USB type C port and a dock like this could certainly benefit. And yes, it works. And let's plug in something. 
and yeah it does work the ipad does recognize the pen drive and i can access the files straight away from it so my thoughts it's really super cool to see something new and unique and the display does help especially if you want to know the details of the device which you are plugging in and their transfer speeds and then to know the operating temperature is also super useful see i faced this issue quite a few times at work when things plugged into the dock stopped working or were slow and laggy having something like this really helps to check and see what's going on and what would i improve about the dock first is the addition of an ethernet port on the dock will be super useful the manufacturer already acknowledged this and they are working on a 9 in 1 version soon so hopefully if you get that for review as well we will test it out on the channel guys then maybe an app which would allow us to configure the dock the way things are laid out maybe some background colors and that welcome screen that would be super cool right and finally for an all glass front display a simple carrying case would be super useful but seriously a promising device guys and it is one of a kind i'm very happy to test this out and i seriously recommend checking out their kickstarter campaign you can also back them up there are various tiers which tells you what exactly you get all these links will be in the description box below so please do check them out guys and show your support thanks once again to dock case for sending me this unit so that's all for the video guys do drop your comments down below and let me know your thoughts about this device if you liked it please hit the like button and if you liked it further a subscribe would be amazing to the channel and for all you over 3000 subscribers i thank you from the bottom of my heart and as always thanks a lot for staying with me until the end i will see you in my next video bye for now